This is my first time here in Lodi, and I came here with thinking, you know, I know about 90% of what's going on in this area, and it turns out that that's really only about 10% of what's going on. A lot of things have surprised me about visiting Lodi. First of all, the climate. We think of Lodi as being a very hot region, but really feeling that diurnal shift makes you realize why it's so wonderful to grow grapes here. There's been a common misconception with the region. It's not just about old Vine Zinfandel. There's a lot of variety down here. You know, I've tasted everything. German varietals, Spanish varietals, French varietals, and there's a lot of experimentation down here, but there's also a, a great deal of pride. The green part will actually die back with the first frost, but the lignified wood uh, will survive the winter time. And so what we want to see... Before I came to Lodi, I had this preconceived notion that I did not enjoy Zinfandel, especially going through the sommelier, you know, the CMS programs and everything you learn, like, this is what Zinfandel is supposed to be and tastes like and dark, overripe and underripe and RS, and it's just not. You can harvest about 20 acres a night with one harvester. It would take you an army of about 200 people to do that by hand. The ability for this area to do so many things so well has been really, really surprising to me. There's a multitude of different reds, there's a multitude of whites. The whites especially have just completely blown me away. It's acid-driven and a lot of complexity and a lot of aromatics and not necessarily big, bold, fruit-forward wine. I'm so surprised at how many grapes they have. It's absolutely amazing. And I, I love the sense of community and how everybody works together. And they want to make sure that their harvests are great and they talk to each other. My favorite experience on this trip is, first of all, meeting the people, seeing their passion. The thing that is most surprising is that they don't have that restriction, whereas in Napa, you're kind of forced to grow Cabernet. They don't have that down here. They have more freedom. They have more variety. They're definitely going to be on the come up. Walking through these fields, there's just so much history here. Just seeing these old vines, uh, and just to actually go from ground to glass, it's just such an amazing and beautiful experience watching the sun actually come up as we're starting to pick and pull. It's been unreal, absolutely awesome.